We are learning more about what the school year could look like for Indianapolis Public Schools amid the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. They just released preliminary results of a survey issued to parents. Megan Singtorm is at IPS headquarters with those results and explains how you can weigh in. Megan. IPS leaders say there is a lot to consider when planning for this upcoming school year, and they say part of it includes community input. That's why this survey is so important. What would need to happen to make you feel comfortable sending your kids back to the classroom this fall? What about on a school bus? And which type of part-time schedule would work best for your family? Those are just some of the questions IPS school leaders are asking in this survey. So far, IPS has received more than 4,400 responses from families. That represents about 27% of their student population. Around one third of respondents say they have someone living in their home who's considered at risk for complications from COVID-19. That same number said they would choose e-learning if the district made it available full time. The superintendent says they're working to make sure every student has access to a device and internet hotspot if they need it. She says they're trying to find the best way to provide a quality education while still keeping kids safe. There is no lack of complexities when thinking about how you do school uh, when schools have been structured really to maximize efficiencies, uh, maximize collaboration, maximize partnerships and you know children being in groups and talking with each other and and now we're having a plan for essentially the opposite. The Indiana Department of Education is advising local school districts to follow CDC guidelines and work with their local health departments as they create classroom reentry plans. Working for you, Megan Sanctorum, RTV6. And if you'd like to participate in the IPS school survey, you have until Friday to do so. We will have a link to it on our website at theindychannel.com.